gentlemen, welcome one and all. I am Mr. X, and if you'll be good enough to listen for a moment, I can explain all the commotion. Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. I'm calling security. Okay, okay, here's the code. Please don't kill me. Seek your path in cell four within the pages of the good book. Deuteronomy 13, 13. Jimmy-san has made your introductions. I have need of a man of your talents. My wife has brought grave dishonor to my name. She has lain with another man. He has been dead since the moment he stole from me. He's stealing our souls. That's what he wants. Your soul! Wow, you guys love to hang out in the sun. Well, I can change. I can find me edge again. <laughs> you, what will I do now? I'm too young for the scrappy. <laughs> Are you a lonesome pixel with no direction in life? Then stop. <laughs> Get with the program! The ultimate reboot camp! We turn out the finest virus! Sorry I'm late. We aim to recruit those! Dismissed! Look at this fine artwork. Rather nice, don't you think? Well, hello there. You're looking rather gorgeous tonight, aren't you? How about we? <laughs> I've won! No more hair clogging up the drain, no more slurping tea and then putting it down without a coaster, no more hair on the soap, toothpaste squeezed from the middle or dirty underwear strewn over every available surface. I'm free! I'm... the bell on that wild winter night. There was no one expecting them, and no one in sight. Then they saw something standing on top of an urn, whose peculiar appearance gave them quite a turn. At times it would tear out whole chapters from books, or put roomfuls of pictures askew on their hooks. It would carry off objects of which it grew fond and protect them by dropping them into the pond. In the night, through the house, it would aimlessly creep. In spite of the fact of its being asleep, 